overall undocumented immigration has gone down. The number of children arriving alone at our borders has doubled in recent years. Last year, 14,000 children younger than 18 <clears throat> arrived at our borders without a parent or a guardian. Right now, the Department of Health and Human Services is charged with getting attorneys for these children, but about half of them don't get counsel. I recently heard a story by way of the American Bar Association of an immigration judge who told an eight-year-old boy representing himself that the child had the right to cross-examine the gov government's witness. This was an eight-year-old boy alone in court, and presumably he didn't speak English. For months, I've been calling for changes to our immigration laws that will protect these children, several of whom are now living with friends or relatives in Minnesota. I'm absolutely thrilled to see that the bill we're debating contains these provisions. Mr. Smith, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Microsoft's work on this issue and about the need for these protections? Well, yes, thank you, Senator Franken. And uh, at Microsoft, we've been supportive through a, a pro bono legal effort, and I co-founded and continue to co-chair the Board of Directors of Kids in Need of Defense, or KIND. Uh, the mission of KIND is to provide legal counsel to children who are going through an immigration removal process but have been separated from their parents, precisely the individuals that you referred to. And as you mentioned, there has been an increase in this number in recent years. Um, we're making heroic efforts across the country through the help of over 160 volunteer law firms, uh, companies, uh, law schools. There's over 5,200 lawyers now volunteering their time to provide this legal representation. But as you point out, um, we've had clients as young as two years old. And yeah, a child who is two years old, who doesn't have a lawyer and who doesn't have a parent, is basically uh, defenseless when it comes to an incredibly important legal proceeding. And the, the bill before you does some very important focused things to help address this. As you pointed out, uh, it mandates the attorney general to, so that there can be legal counsel appointed to represent a child in this situation. And it moves from, the, from HHS to the Department of Justice, uh, the responsibility to work on this, which makes perfect sense, sense given the DOJ's responsibility. Um, as we look to the future, we're going to need to continue to recruit more volunteer lawyers, and we're committed to doing that. But I think that passage of this bill will definitely help. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Colby, uh, this isn't so much uh, a question as a statement that you are not alone. I've heard many stories 